As the special counsel report makes clear, the Russian government sought to interfere in our election process. But thanks to the special counsel's thorough investigation, we now know that the Russian operatives who perpetrated these schemes did not have the cooperation of President Trump or the Trump campaign, or the knowing assistance of any other American, for that matter. That is something that all Americans can and should be grateful to have confirmed. First, the report details efforts by the Internet Research Agency, a Russian company with close ties to the Russian government, to sow social discord among American voters through disinformation and social media operations. The special counsel found no collusion by any Americans in IRA's illegal activities. Second, the report details efforts by the Russian military officials associated with the GRU, the Russian Military Intelligence Organization, to hack into computers and steal documents and emails from individuals associated with the Democratic Party and Hillary Clinton's campaign for the purpose of eventual, eventually publicizing these documents. There was no evidence of the Trump campaign collusion with the Russian government's hacking. After finding no underlying collusion with Russia, the special counsel's report goes on to consider whether certain actions of the president could amount to obstruction of the special counsel's investigation. The report recounts 10 episodes involving the president and discusses potential legal theories for connecting those activities to the elements of an obstruction offense. The deputy attorney general and I concluded that the evidence developed by the special counsel is not sufficient to establish that the president committed an obstruction of justice offense. There is substantial evidence to show that the president was frustrated and angered by his sincere belief that the investigation was undermining his presidency, propelled by his political opponents, and fueled by illegal leaks. Nonetheless, the White House fully cooperated with the special counsel's investigation. The office of the White House counsel requested the opportunity to review the redacted version of the report. Following that review, the president confirmed that in the interest of transparency and full disclosure to the American people, he would not assert privilege over the special counsel's report. You said people were concerned that you were trying to protect the president. Eric. Eric. Their interest in the absence of the special counsel and members of his team. Was he invited to join you up on the podium? Why is he not here? This is his report, obviously, that you're talking about today. No, it's not. It's a report he did for me as the attorney general. He is required under the regulation to, pr to provide me with a confidential report. I'm here to discuss my response to that report and my decision entirely discretionary to make it public, since these reports are not supposed to be made public. That's what I'm here to discuss. Propriety for you to come out and sort of what appears to be sort of spinning the report before public, the public gets a chance to read it? Okay. Thank you very much.